Sister Wives, Cody Brown, in Dark Place, after Son Garrison's death is, depression, is causing marital issues with Robin. And Christine Brown hints she changed her last name after David Woolley marriage. Also Cody Brown in, Dark Place, after Garrison's death, ruining marriage. I will explain everything, watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers, welcome to my 2S gossip channel. Garrison Brown, Cody's son with ex-wife Janelle Brown, died by suicide at 25 at his home in Flagstaff, Arizona, over a month ago. The Sister Wives stars reunited at a memorial service for Garrison held by the Nevada National Guard in Las Vegas on March 9. The U.S. Sun reported that Cody, who attended with his wife Robin Brown, was acting standoffish and was more resistant in mingling with estranged family members, including his exes Janelle, Christine, and Mary. Now, a source is shedding more light on Cody's mental state. Cody is not okay at all. He's retreated, entirely, a source told the U.S. Son, he gets into dark places when he gets upset, so he's just in a very dark place right now. The source went on to allege that Cody, 55, is, really depressed. It was known among Sister Wives fans that Cody and Garrison were estranged ever since the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as with his other children Gabe and Leon. According to the police report obtained by the U.S. Son, Janelle, 54, even told cops about their estrangement as part of the investigation into his sudden death. Amid Cody's depression, a source alleged to the U.S. Son that the father of 18 is causing problems, in his marriage to Robin, 45. His mental state is affecting his marriage and it's actually causing problems in his relationship, the source claimed. He sort of put up this wall and is internalizing his feelings. He's focused more on himself and moving on. Despite Cody and Robin's alleged marital issues, the source believes the couple is not headed towards divorce. I don't think they will ever divorce unless he continues what he is doing and pushes her out, the source said. Cody just retreats and when he gets upset, he blames her for his problems. So right now he's doing that with her. Although it is not known yet what was in Garrison's system at the time of his death, it has been reported that the National Guard soldier previously struggled with depression and had an alcohol addiction. His final text. Messages sparked concern for his well-being the day before his tragic death. Janelle informed the Flagstaff Police Department that his last message to a group of people was, I want to hate you for sharing the good times. But I can't. I miss these days. Cody and Robin were blamed for the family falling apart when he set strict rules in place that his wives and kids had to follow during the pandemic. As previously reported, Garrison and Cody were still estranged and never made up before his death. Now, a source is saying it'll be a long time before Cody's estranged kids let him back into their lives. At this point, Cody's boys and other kids are not going to be receptive to him now because they just lost a family member. It's going to take even more work for Cody to fix the damage he's done, the insider claimed to the U.S. Son, he's not even thinking about chances of reconciliation since he's still processing Garrison's death and grieving his loss. Sister Wives star Christine Brown may not be a Brown for long. The TLC personality hinted she's in the process of changing her last name after marrying David Woolley in 2023. So easy getting my name changed. Christine, 51, told her followers via Instagram during a Tuesday April 9, car confession. In the short clip, she gushed about how easy the process was to change her name with an apartment. You know, it's amazing what you can get appointments for and get them done so fast. The reality TV star explained, my driver's license, my name change and everything, so easy with social security for an appointment. It was amazing. Christine's name change comes exactly six months after tying the knot with David in October 2023. David marked the TLC alum's first public relationship since her split from Cody Brown in November 2021. Their nuptials were documented in a special titled Christine and David's Wedding, which debuted on TLC in January. While, Christine remains, Christine Brown, on Instagram, in the past, she spoke publicly about her plans to drop her famous surname. I will change it legally to Christine Woolley, 
but I'll still be known as Christine Brown, just because I've been Christine Brown for 14 years, you know. Christine told Entertainment Tonight in November 2023. But no, it will be Christine Woolley, definitely. Christine introduced her relationship with the David Woolley drywall owner to fans in February. 2023. The news came one week after the mom of six asked her followers for advice on how to tackle the online dating world. I just have to tell you I am dating someone exclusively, she announced during an Instagram story, Car Confession. He's wonderful and romantic and so kind and everything I've been looking for. He's incredible with truly. He's absolutely a dream come true and I'm so excited to show you guys pictures and everything in a little bit. Their relationship progressed quickly and the pair announced their engagement just two months later. We're engaged. David popped the question very romantically and I said yes. Christine captioned a loved up photo with David in April 2023. I'm so excited and just live in bliss every day. She added, with the hashtags, new world, soulmates, and love of my life. Christine later admitted that within one month of meeting David in person, she was already looking at wedding dresses, telling E.T. that they just synced up. I had no idea it felt like this or would feel like this. It really is a dream come true, she told the publication. It's amazing. It's like we just kind of moved in side by side with each other and just continued moving on in our life, but we're doing everything that the other person wanted to do but never did. So we travel so much and try so many new things and we have so many more kids now. Sister Wives star Cody Brown is in a dark place after his son, Garrison. Brown passed away in early March 2024. So much so that it is actually ruining his marriage to his fourth and now only wife. Robin Brown. So, what is going on with the former polygamist? Viewers watched as Cody Brown became even more estranged from his older children over the years. A lot had to do with how close and connected he was to his fourth wife, Robin Brown, and her five children. He always boasted about how they obeyed him and she was the only loyal wife. That was untrue, as his his now former first wife, Mary Brown had always done what he said. Yet, he did not care to have a relationship with her so she did not matter. Then, there were his other two wives, Janelle Brown and Christine Brown, Woolley. During the pandemic, Cody did not feel they followed his pandemic protocols. However, they both maintained that they abided by the CDC guidelines. Furthermore, he wanted Janelle to kick out her sons, Gabriel and Garrison Brown since they had lives outside of the home. She refused and things just continued to go downhill. When Garrison died by apparent suicide, Cody was still estranged from his son. Severely impacted Cody Brown mentally. An insider had this to say. Cody is not okay at all. He's retreated entirely. He gets into dark places when he gets upset. So he's just in a very dark place right now. He is also really depressed, which is not helping his marriage to Robin Brown whatsoever. Cody struggled when his third wife, Christine left the family, and that caused him to lash out in rage. Now, he is seemingly acting the complete opposite by hiding away. Disconnected. When it was time to say final goodbyes to Garrison Brown, Cody Brown was apparently not in the kindest way. He was reunited with all of his family, including his children, estranged and otherwise, as well as his three ex-wives. While together, he was allegedly, more resistant in mingling, and, standoffish. As for how his marriage, with Robin Brown, who attended the services with him stands, yes it is currently rocky. The insider added this about Cody. He sort of put up this wall and is internalizing his feelings. He's focused more on himself and moving on. Despite this current struggle, they do not feel it is the end for the couple of 14 years. I don't think they will ever divorce unless he continues what he is doing and pushes her out. Cody just retreats and when he gets upset, he blames her for his problems. So right now he's doing that with her. After Garrison Brown died, there were Sister Wives fans who blamed Cody and Robin for his death. They felt they pushed him away and should be ashamed of their behavior. Soon, some fans intervened and said it was not the time to play the blame game. Late Sister Wives star Garrison Brown's final text messages before his tragic death have been revealed. 
What did he have to say and were they at all telling of his situation? It was clear that Garrison Brown's family had some concerns for him and his well-being before he died in early March. The 25-year-old apparently shot himself and left a hole in the hearts of all who knew and loved him. More so, the animal community was left grieving as he had just rescued a nine-year-old cat, Ms. Buttons. She joined Patches and Kathew in his little family but he did it so she would not be euthanized. Due to this, fans donated thousands of dollars to animal shelters in his honor. Before Garrison died, he was sending off putting messages and then, his mother Janelle Brown, did not hear from him. That was when his brother, Gabriel Brown, headed over to his house to check on him and found the unimaginable. Garrison had seemingly taken his own life and now his siblings, such as Maddie Brown Brusher determined to raise awareness about mental health. On April 9, 2024, In Touch Weekly released text messages between Garrison, friends, and family. I want to hate you for sharing the good times. But I can't. I miss these days, was shared in a group text by Garrison. He had been responding to a paintball fight photo. Additionally, he let someone from his job know that he had been vomiting blood. He claimed he was taking himself to the clinic and calling out of work. Janelle also checked in with her son, saying he had been on her mind all day. Garrison Brown admitted he was not fine and knew that they worried about his suicidal tendencies. More so, he had given Gabe his pistols and claimed to not have any firearms in his home. Janelle offered help. In one message exchange, Janelle Brown offered to send an Uber for Garrison Brown. She told him she had a cot for him to sleep in and she would make sure he got there if he needed it. Finally, she asked her sons, Logan and Hunter Brown to check in on Garrison as she was worried. She explained how he was responding to her but stopped, how. He had scared some of the family with an odd text, and had called out of work. They tried but, unfortunately, it was not enough. Sister Wives star Cody Brown was estranged from his son Garrison Brown before his death. The father-son duo was never on the same page about anything. Cody might not have been a good father to his son, but he never even imagined losing him at a young age. Hence, it must have been devastating for the reality TV star. However, the critics started calling out the dad of 18 for his poor relationship with Garrison after his death. They have been slamming Cody for being a poor dad and not giving the right love and care to his son. Sadly, he has been facing the wrath of the audience since his Garrison's demise. But he lost his son, and it was a big loss for him. Now, it turns out that the TLC star has also become depressed after this tragic incident. Cody Brown and Garrison Brown were never the two peas in a pod. They had many conflicts with each other, but the former's life shook completely after losing his son. He might have been estranged from Garrison for a long time, but the Sister Wives star always wanted good for his son. Indeed, it must be painful for Cody to move on from the tragedy of losing his son. But the grief police have been lashing out at him for not being available for Garrison when he was alive. Now it seems like the TLC star took all the comments to his heart and became depressed. The Sun recently revealed that Cody has been causing damage to his married life due to the family tragedy. Cody and Robin reunited with their family members at Garrison's memorial service held by the Nevada National Guard in Las Vegas on March 9. He was looking more standoffish in the pictures with no intention to mingle with any family members. He was looking a little lost and devastated in the snaps that Janelle posted online. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment box and subscribe your channel.